Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 28 of our 100 days SQL challenge. Today we're going to solve one of the SQL questions asked recently in Walmart data analyst interview. So let's see the question and let's see the data types and let's see the tables then we will see how to solve this problem. So the question says there is a table called transactions which is a Walmart transactions a table that has a three columns. One is called transactions ID, one is called day and one is called amount. If you see the data types, this transactions ID is the PK which is the primary key of this uh, table and this uh, day has a time stream date. that means it has a date and time and this amount has the integer data which has basically the uh, whole numbers okay now let's see the problem statement it says write in SQL query to report the IDs of the transactions with the maximum amount on their respective day okay if in one day there are multiple such transactions return all of them so what it means is that in every day there would be a transaction different different transactions we need to find out the transaction that has the highest amount and then we need to return the transactions ids okay that is what we need to do in any day if there are more than one transactions we need to return again the transactions ids okay so it says if in one day there are multiple such transactions return all of them okay if in any day there are multiple transactions we would need to return all of them only if this amount the it's the amount is the highest amount okay let me just show you with an example so if you see here maybe which is this data set that's on the 3rd of april 2021 so there's a transaction that is called 57 dollars okay now let's see if there are any other transactions we have yes we have one more transaction which is also on third and the amount is 57 dollars okay so we would need these two transactions id so we are going to need this eight and we're going to need this a 10 okay so that is for this date which is called third okay because both the transaction are the same okay so if you see next which is going to be on 28 we have one transaction which is of 21 dollars and we have one more transactions on 28 which is for 40 dollars so for this we only we're going to select this because this transaction is the highest transaction this is not the maximum transaction of that specific day okay if you see on 29 we have one transaction 58 we have one more transaction which is 58 so we're going to select for 29 both the uh, you know transactions id okay so this is what we are going to do so we're going to select one and this six okay so this is what we are going to do you can see we have selected one we have selected five we have selected six we have selected eight we have selected ten we have not selected nine okay. so because this nine transition that took place on 28 and in 28 the maximum transaction is this 40 not this one which is called 21 dollars okay now to solve this problem we can use window functions rank or dense rank both is going to work fine so let me show you again with uh, some uh, details okay so first of all this is a day column and this has a time stem data okay first of all if you are using a rank or dense rank we need to do a partition by because in each day we need to find out the transition that has the maximum amount okay so here if you see this is a time stream data so that means you cannot do a partition you can do a partition but that's going to not give you the right result what you're looking for so so the best approach is going to use extract functions to create a day number from this day columns so here if you see i have extracted this three here i have extracted this 28 here i have extracted this 29 here and uh, this 28 here this 29 here and this three here okay now what i just need to find out from each day the transaction that has the highest you know kind of the amount that is going to get rank one the second highest is going to get rank two and so on so on and then i can filter the data by rank okay so here if you see what i have done i have used the window functions called a rank here okay and using rank i have created this column and in this column we can see that in each day the transaction that has the highest is going to get rank one okay so if you see in this day which is on third we have a transaction which is called 57 that's the highest that's getting rank one we have one more 57 that is also highest on the same date you can see on the third so that is also getting rank one okay same way if you see on 28 we have two transactions one is called 40 dollars one is called 21 dollars so 40 dollar is the highest one for that day which is 28 that's getting rank one the second one is getting rank two which is this okay same way on 29 we have another two transactions 58 and 58 they both are same amount of transactions so they are getting rank one rank one okay now i can go ahead and select from this table that select the transactions id where this rank equals to one so that is how i am going to select only those transactions id where rank is going to be one so that's where i will be selecting this eight i will be selecting this a uh, ten because this is also has the rank one i would be selecting this five 
I would be selecting this one. I would be selecting this six because this nine has a rank which is a two. So that means this nine transaction is not that day's highest transactions amount because you can see that this 21 is not the highest transactions amount for this day which is 28 this 40 is the highest right so that's the reason we are selecting five so this is what we're going to do and let's go to pg admin 4 where i have already created the table and i am going to show you how to solve this problem live so first the reason i am using this extract functions on this day name i'm going to show you okay so let's say if i want to solve it this problem so i would just go ahead and select all the columns that i need so I would just go ahead and select everything from this table and I'm going to use a rank window functions here because I only need the one transactions, the highest maximum transactions of each of this and day. So I would say rank over and here I'm going to say partition by because why I'm doing partition by because for each day I need the highest transactions. I don't need a global rank. I need for each day the amount that has the highest. I want that, uh, you know, amount get a rank one. That's the reason I'm saying partition by day if i say partition by day so there is a problem i'm going to show you okay so if i say partition by day and i would need to say over order by this amount descending and i can just name it called ranks okay so it's going to create a new columns and it has going to it, it's going to give some ranking okay so the problem is that if you see in one day we had a two transaction which is called on this date that's 28 okay so the first transaction is 21 dollars and the second transaction is 40 dollars but if you see both of them got a rank one so that means this 28 that you see which is this one 28 8 47 am that is different than this 28 which is 4 pm right why because they have a different time if you do a partition so this is going to look for the exactly same time okay that's where it is giving rank one otherwise it should be getting rank one it should be getting rank two because this amount is the highest this is the second highest okay so for that what i can do is that i can simply go ahead and say partition by day instead of doing partition by day i can just use the extract functions here so for that i can just show the extract functions outside so i can say extract day from day it's going to extract the day number and i'm just going to say day number okay let me just show you this so you can see it is extracted the day numbers okay now we can do a partition by this and day number so that we will be getting the right answers so you cannot use this alias so you can just copy this uh, syntax completely and instead of day you can just replace it with this syntax okay now if you see this this is going to get rank 2 this is going to get rank 1 okay so let's go ahead and run it now if you see this is getting rank 2 because on this date which is 28 this amount is the not the highest okay so this is the second highest that's the reason it is getting rank 2 so this is what only we needed now we do not need this uh, extract functions so i'm just going to delete it now let me just run it again so we have nicely four columns okay now we only need to select all those transactions ids where this rank is one if you see the rank one is given for each day the highest transactions amount if there are two transactions amount that is the highest that is false in highest so we are going to select both the transactions date so basically we are going to select these two we're going to select this transactions id and we're going to select these two transactions details and we only need the id okay so for that i can use a city or sub query any approach is going to work fine so i'm just going to say select or i'm looking for everything for now first of all so i would say from let me just put this in a kind of sub query let's delete this and let's say x and you can see where ranks equals one you cannot directly filter by this column as you have created using a window functions but you can kind of filter it in the but you can filter it in the sub query okay now if i just run this query it is going to only select those transactions where this rank equals one because i'm using simple where functions now we only need ids so which is going to be transactions ids so let's select transaction id so that is how we are going to select only the transactions ids where the transaction amount is the highest for that specific day that is here you can see we are not getting the transactions id 9 thanks for watching i will see in the next video till then keep on learning and stay consistent have a good one take care bye bye